my name is Yolanda Barton, and I'm developing a mobile app called the Central District Music Tour. My project is about preserving a really amazing legacy of music in Seattle. And as our city continues to grow and change, a lot of the amazing history and contributions of musicians is kind of being forgotten. Some of the media outlets and, and searches that I did in um, newspapers and articles in Seattle kind of referred to Jackson Street as the slums and malaria infested and, and di it really had a negative connotation. And it was sort of like, well, who's going to tell the story of the musicians because Quincy Jones, Ray Charles, um, Ernestine Anderson, and John Coltrane and all these amazing musicians played at the same time in these venues and clubs. You know, part of the effects of gentrification is that people feel that they don't matter anymore and that their contribution to a community is no longer appreciated or necessary. We can do this in a different way. We can grow in Seattle, we can grow our neighborhoods, and we can change as much as we want to, but we can do it in a way where we're approaching the history with compassion and consideration and acknowledging the role that we played in a global uh, phenomenon, which is music. So let's not forget that and let's not forget the neighborhoods and this specific neighborhood for what it did for jazz and hip hop. We don't have the opportunity to see the impact or to see uh, the musicians that once performed there, but by interviewing a lot of the musicians from the jazz era and hip hop era and talking to their family members and people in the community, a lot of stories came out, images and important uh, parts of the journey of music as a whole. And I wanted to document that. I definitely took a lot of time to gather stories. I was able to interview uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot, um, a couple of artists that grew up in the central area that were a part of the hip hop era as well, such as uh, Note Work. He was one of the members of Narcotics. I've been able to be in touch with Ernestine Anderson's granddaughters who are working diligently to preserve her legacy as well. It blew me away how much people relate to these spaces in this neighborhood and how much these stories and memories are tied to an actual space. Barnett Park, I learned from Sir Mix-a-Lot, was a place where live music used to happen regularly on Thursdays and it was funk music. And his brother used to take him regularly on Thursdays and that was so much a part of his journey in wanting to become a musician. Um, it's one thing to celebrate an artist winning a Grammy, but it's another to see that my city and my neighborhood really played such a huge role in how music is today. So I think for now, community storytelling and creating a platform where um, we're pulling out the most important stories from these communities and sharing them with a greater audience is the way that I would like to do this. At the moment, the app does not exist. It's a prototype for an app. Um, but I would like to really work hard with an amazing team um, to develop this as something our entire city could benefit from. I would like music lovers and people who are history lovers and people who just want to learn more about our city to be able to come to the Central District, uh, receive notifications as they're approaching specific areas, have the option to listen to interviews, listen to specific stories, to engage in the physical space through virtual reality so that they can be inside of Starbucks but also see what it looked like when it was a hopping jazz club with amazing musicians. So I have a lot of high hopes for what this app can become and as I'm developing my skills in this program, I'm finding ways that I can contribute more to the stories, to the interviewing, to collecting visuals. And to be honest, I think that I'm going to find more through this program. You know, this has been an amazing experience and that was just my first quarter and my first class. So I want to continue to use the tools that I'm gaining in other classes as I move forward in quarters, but who knows what else I can create just with the guidance and instruction and amazing resources that are in this program.